Welcome everybody, welcome to another fascinating episode of Sailing Not Shore with your host today, Jeannie the Admiral, who's dressed very nicely today for this. Thank you, Rebelli. What up, Jeannie? I am here today to show you Eric's wonderful cabinetry work. This was just the wall right here. These cabinets did not exist before when we bought the boat. In this cabinet, I have several casserole dishes, our little flamingo bowl. More flourish, more flourish, I need more flourish. <laughs> That's just because you're feeling crabby. Yeah. Thanks. We have more storage up here. Of course, I need a stepladder to see. And then I have additional storage down there. Hey! <laughs> Do that back. <laughs> so Eric, show them how these were made. Hey, all right. Okay, in our last exciting episode of Sailing But Not Sure. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. If you wanna see what happened last time, just go into the next video and go check it out. <laughs> so, uh, today we're working on uh, cabinets. So I thought I'd take you through the whole, how the heck I come up with this kind of stuff. Basically, it's a lot of paper and a lot of measuring, so. And the cardboard cutouts really help out, too, because that kind of scopes out where I was going to put everything. I have this here. Yeah, tape only lasts so long. <laughs> so that cabinet's going to go there. I'm going to start work top down. This one here, now the one thing I did describe the mark here, so I can put it about where it's at so it doesn't get in my face. It's like right there. And wouldn't you know, it's probably work calling. Yay. Uh, okay, so before I was so rudely interrupted by my work, um, yeah, my real job. Alright, so, like I said with these cardboard, basically it helps me kind of figure out where I want to put it. Like I said, I scribed a mark here, so there it is. So, again, I'm just doing this by feel more than anything. You know, if I'm standing in front of the sink, how close do I want this to my face? And since this this cabinet front is going to kind of drop down in front, I was like, okay, I want a space where it's not going to hit me in the face if I'm standing right against the counter. So, really, that came to about here. It's about 13 inches or so, so about a little more than a foot, which would probably be good. So, this cabinet will be here and put something there. And I did mark probably where you can see it right here. It's where the faucet, the height of the faucet's gonna go. So the faucet will go this high um, and up here, including that where the handle, so the handle doesn't fit. So, all right, so we're gonna do some uh, measurements. So I know that pretty much I wanna build, uh, I'm trying to think if I wanna do, I can go down for now. Um, I wanna build, bottom first, although that is quite interesting that I just noticed that this is on a slope going down, so that make it all that much more interesting to create. <laughs> Yay! Uh, come that way with it, it is going to actually slope down, which shouldn't be too much of a problem actually. So I build it coming out to here, okay, really need to mark that better pencil. The bottom's going to slope a little. Stick with this. It'll come out to here, down there. This will be a straight up and down deal. So really that's not a problem because it's the face that I'm really going to have to work on. That'll actually be wider. So actually that should not be too much of a problem. Next question is how I attach this piece here to here. I could actually try some biscuits, but I'm not certain how, yeah, I'm not certain how deep that little sucker goes as far as wood, but that's the fiberglass right there, actually. No, well, that's actually wood, so I am seeing a wood structure. Uh, so I bet I can 
shoot a biscuit in there and do a couple biscuit joints here to hold her up there. I plan on doing screws on the back side here. Should be pretty and it's going to be open. Yeah, that's open back there. So I'll put screws in from the other side to hold that part, hold that part. So that'll hold that until I get this piece done. And this piece, I can do screws at the bottom, I can also biscuit it, and then I'm gonna make L brackets for up here to attach to here with screws. All right, so just a quick update as I'm uh, going ahead and removing all the stuff that's over here, sand this down a bit, make that smooth. So I got those bloody staples, which took forever. Uh, right now I'm removing this old light here. Uh, this is part of the AC, DC system the AC transformer. Of course it's got little halogens in it which probably just sucks the hell out of the battery so huh, those are going. <laughs> so. Hey all right so uh, trying to work on this face or bottom actually I'm working the face layer the bottom of the cabinet here and uh, my measurements were just a tad off by about three inches uh, so I had to go ahead and add when I cut it so I have to add some more to the board. So I added some more here to this board, letting that dry up, and then I'll be able to fit it, mark it, and then cut it accurately to get it to where it's flush up against here. And that's where I kind of screwed up. So <laughs> everything doesn't go great here in La La Land. Um, so yeah, wait that for that to dry, then uh, chop it off properly and get it fitted back up there. So and then I'll work on that side and we'll work on the face. So. A little behind schedule, if I had a schedule, which I don't, so there. <laughs> I'm right on time. All right, so I got that piece added on and had to trim it to size and discovered something else that I didn't realize I forgot about is that uh, um, I can't do this level straight up. I mean, I can, otherwise I'm getting a ledge here. Um, if I want to flush it up against there, and uh, I think I'm gonna do it. Go ahead and flush it up against there, rather than just level it out. Because, jeez, what's well, really level on a boat anyway? Uh, so I'm gonna cut a couple biscuits in here, into the side here. I'm hoping I don't hit fiberglass. <laughs> we'll find out pretty damn fast. like it's hitting it just a little bit above the seam, which is fine. I'll stick a bunch of glue in there. It'll actually hold the seam up too. I need power. You know, you think I put a power strip in here, but I have a power strip, but just never get to use it. Because this is solid wood, I want to drill some pilot holes into the wood. I don't want to split the wood. So, did I mention how wonderful this aluminum tape is, man? It's damn near everything. <laughs> so, this will be a temporary hold up job while I uh, run some holes from the other side here. Oh, fine. You want to see what I'm doing? Okay. 
baseline. Get it. Dang. That's a short one. I just want to see fucking everything. All right. So, see, I'm drilling uh, countersink holes here. That's the one that's holding it in right now, so I'm not going to countersink that one yet. So, anyway, okay, exciting, wasn't it? I know. Glad to come along for the ride. Woohoo! Okay, now for the moment of truth. Or the oh crap moment. <laughs> I have to go, whoop, start over and do it again. Alright, so let's glue this puppy up. This is going to make a big old mess everywhere when I start doing the glue part of this one. Okay, so one of the things that I did, because I have this at an angle rather than um, rather than level, I'm actually going with the countertop uh, with this ledge up here. Um, that's going to change this measurement here to here, so it's got a bit of a slant stop and open it up more. But that'll give you a nice big, a little a bigger access drawers over here. So yeah, right about there. So. While you're all away, uh, um, went ahead and made this piece here. Kind of glued another two pieces together to make it the same width. Um, went back, got a small angle with the chop saw to angle with the top here. Drew a line here and then cut this off to match up with this. So I've got them kind of set right now. I just drilled a hole up here. And I'm just gonna kind of tap this in temporarily for now. L brackets up here. I'm gonna put some L brackets up along here, which I gotta go find. <laughs> uh, last time I made some L brackets out of wood, uh, using the big cabinets over there, I basically did a uh, uh, biscuit cut here, here, and then put some wood in, let it dry, then put an angle, a triangle in there, and that kind of made my own little angle bracket. Oh, hell, I'll show you. That way you don't have to think about it. Look, this is what it looks like. All right, here we go, in here. Uh, see it? Those are what they look like. Those are how I'm holding that sucker up. Uh, they look pretty well. So, but it's such a small cabinet, I don't see where I really need to put that big of a bracket in. So I know I bought some L brackets, I just gotta find them. Okay, it's on the L brackets that I know I bought, so it's a four. Or really, I think I'm just gonna do one in there. I think one's good enough. And two might be a little overkill anyway for what I'm doing. Plus, I'm gonna have it screwed all along here, screwed all along there, and glued all the way at the top. So the glue's gonna hold this wood pretty well. Uh, and then the L bracket will be there to sustain it. So I think we'll be good there. Let's go ahead and drill a pilot hole. Again, you want to drill pilot holes because you do not want to go through cracking this wood. <laughs> Start all over again and say, yeah, that was fun, let's do it again. So I had to build this right, so let's do it one more time. You're wondering what wood I'm using here. This is actually poplar. Um, I really didn't care. I want a solid wood, but I wasn't gonna get like oak. I'm not staining. <laughs> I didn't want to walk across the room and put it away. 
I knew exactly where I put it, where I left it last. Yay! Takes a yeah. minute or two in my old age to figure out, but yeah, that's where I left it. Alright. Glue this puppy up. Using uh, exterior decking screws. You know, you can go stainless, but I don't think I'm gonna outlive it. <laughs> actually going to sit back further. So, anyway. Alright, so work on that and get that done. Alright, uh, put an L bracket on this side that goes on this side of the boat and uh, drilled pilot holes for the shelf and I sanded down the varnish on there so the glue can get a good hold on there as well. So I'm going to glue this in. I already drilled the pilot holes. At least one of them or two of them that I need. Just layered up with some glue and shelf on it. It's dripping all over the place. <laughs> they don't have to be neat at this point. Okay, I do, however, have to glue the right side. <laughs> Okay, that would be the wrong side of glue. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Dang, where's that blooper reel when I need it? <laughs> I think I would have known by the fact that there was no pilot hole in there when I just stuck the glue into it. <laughs> uh, I feel like a newbie. Alright. Shelf ain't going nowhere. Next thing I got the shelf in, work on the face, and uh, push up to here or something. Right. Uh, just so you all know, it's not an exact science. Uh, I'm putting together the face front now, and uh, cut this one, which I was thrilled I got that angle right there. That's uh, beautiful. Unfortunately, it's a uh, quarter inch short, so I get to recut it. <laughs> Yippee! So, yeah, just like I said before in previous videos. I'm not a carpenter. I just play one on TV. <laughs> or a video. Whatever you want to look Alright, uh, quick update. I'm tired. <laughs> okay, um, kind of working on it. So it's uh, drying right now. I got that part done. I got the other parts cut and uh, ready to go. So I'll put some of the molding back in here. I'm not going not gonna to put any molding up there because it really doesn't have much of a gap there. And, um, Maybe I will. I'll have to take a look at that molding and see if it's worth putting back up there. Um, and uh, uh, one of the things I did design, just you can't see it very easily here, is I, I left a gap here between the shelves to let air circulate in between. And there's a there's a stop gap right here, which stops it, stops stuff from coming over. Um, there's a gap here, so that'll allow some aeration in between. I might even put some more something at the bottom, possibly to allow air to ventilate throughout the entire unit. So 
but we'll see. Um, all right, so let that dry and work on the top part. Okay. Um, okay, got that in. Got the top section done. Bottom section. Got the molding. I can't see. I'll have to take a look. Okay, so you can see I got it in and uh, molding. I put that back in. Figure what the hell. You got it. Also use it. Um, uh, kind of patched up some of the, the holes and gaps and stuff, so I'm gonna wait for that to dry and uh, come back, put another coat on, and then that'll give me the option to sand it. And uh, then I'll start making the, uh, actually, covers, cabinet covers that'll go up over there, so. All right, cool. I'm beat. <clears throat> hey. Okay, so I'm not certain, but uh, I thought I'd uh, show you all that. Yes, I had a chop saw. <laughs> in the middle of the boat. <laughs> uh, very handy, could make my straight edges on it. Uh, however, it does make an incredible mess. I can't remember if I already took a video of me chopping the heck out of this. So here, let's show you Yeah! <laughs> and now we're back with the wonderful and beautifully talented Jeannie the Admiral. We are showing off Eric's handy carpentry work for our storage for our plates. Many boats have this type of storage. We did not. I saw them online. I saw them on Friends Boat. I said, Eric, I want them too. So he made them. They hold our nice little corral dishes quite nicely. We even have one for our bowls, and this one has a special slide out. Shh, don't get away yet. <laughs> Up to it. <laughs> you can show them how that works. Oh, okay. Because okay. bowls can be a little tricky. But we have a full set in here. So, Eric, can you show them how you did this? All right, let's get to it. Okay, so here you can see that I just realized that the GoPro has this really cool feature of fast forward video and no audio. Whoops. Uh, so basically, I'm just laying out the plates, checking the plan, figuring out where all the plates are going to go and marking them. All right, cool. Thanks. All right. Sorry for all the mess, but hey. Oh, better? <laughs> okay, as you see, I'm starting to build the walls on the side here. Take these up here. And. Something went seriously wrong with that last wall. <laughs> I think I measured really, really wrong here. Yeah. Somehow, screwed that one up. <laughs> Whoops! Yeah, extra wood. How did I miss that? Four and three quarter. Did I measure four and three quarter? No, I measured three and three quarter. <laughs> so, we'll do that one again. Well, um, this might make it on a blooper reel, or I might just let it run. Okay, I got the supports set up, drilled. Um, I went ahead and did some countersinking on them. I actually marked them up here. So I'm going to mount the little walls first, get them going, get them tied up there, then bring this up and attach it. So. It's scrap. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> so let's redo this again, shall we? <laughs> um, I guess I could probably do two on the ends of the insides and two like that and that. So that gives me that. So that should be enough holding power. Plus, I'm gonna biscuit it on here. Right, we gotta sand that down so I get the bare wood because the wood glue likes wood to wood, not wood to paint. It will not hold. Which I've got wood up here, so. I'm gonna glue that, that should hold as well as I'm doing that. So I'm gonna hold it. Yeah.
brackets on here on each. So glue on there, bracket them up. Hey, all right. Uh, working on the uh, dishes still, getting it up here. So right now I've glued these pieces, and I've got brackets holding them up right now. So uh, I'm gonna let the glue dry. This is not glued in yet. This is just I've got temporary screws kind of holding that up, just to make sure that these are even and where they needed to be at. And make sure I got a good flush end on here. So. Uh, I'm going to take a little lunch break <laughs> and uh, going to uh, wait for that to dry. So once that gets to dry, drop this back down. Actually, I'll probably, probably need to work on this side here and this piece here so that that's ready to go before I actually finish gluing that in. Just in case something happens and I can't get that done without moving this, don't want to glue this in yet. So probably work on this first, then... Uh, after that gets fixed and get that going, then glue the whole thing together and, and screw it down. Okay, so, lunch break! Okay, so, lunch break's over. Yay! <laughs> uh, okay, now I'm working on the storage area here, starting to put together the pieces uh, right here. And I'm pretty much going to dry fit everything get it set up and then uh, and probably put it install it from there so I'm just cutting all the pieces to get it to, uh, to actually work so. okay so I'm starting to put this thing together um, drill a couple pilot holes now I'm countersinking I've never seen a countersink bit which I think I showed you actually Okay, and now for a special treat, we'll have the matrix view of the clamping job. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, look at that, huh? Three clamps all set up. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Not quite the matrix, but hey, okay. All right, uh, I'm making the cabinet doors here while I'm waiting for the glue to dry. Now I'm using a piece of scrap wood again to make sure that I get the, uh, the depth right on this thing. Good time to practice <laughs> before I screw them up. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to check that with the other ones and see if that's very close. Yeah, see if that looks pretty darn close. Alright. Turns a piece of wood into a nice little cabin. Okay, uh, right now I got the uh, dish shelf. I don't know what else to call it. Dish rack, dish shelf. <laughs> it's right now clamped and drying. Uh, I'm now going to put in the other uh, 
small cabinetry over here. I get the GoPro to behave here and do the. There we go. Oh, that little level. Ah, okay. Okay, so good when it's level. Yay! Alright, so I'll finish uh, screwing that in and we'll be good to go. Walk down inside here as we walk down and go, oh my god, what have I walked into? <laughs> yeah, so, alright. <sighs> yeah, not being depressed. Okay, yeah, this is really depressing. Anyway, but I'm making progress. All right, so let's hop over and leave off where we left off last time on another exciting night of... Oh, crap, that didn't work. Let's try this. So, ran into a little bit of a problem with the uh, the dish rack, I guess. Oh. <laughs> As you can see, looks beautiful, doesn't they? all fit in there. Isn't that great? Yeah! And I got the faceplate made up. Beautiful! One friggin' problem! <laughs> These poles are too darn big! Turns out... When I did my measurements, you now this is the, this is the um, set that the, the, the wife and I, excuse me, the admiral and I agreed on. Um, and I think I showed earlier what you know what the design was. I think it's a really nice design. Want to try something new? It's Market Street, New York Adirondack. So nice fit. The problem is the bowls. Now bowls are usually 10 ounces. They're about an inch and a half in height. This is a 20 ounce bowl and it's three inches in height. I didn't plan for it. It doesn't. I'm gonna have a hell of a time using the T, uh, basically the T to pull them in and out. So I've got to come up with plan B. Well, first, the first plan was convince the Admiral to say, "Hey, you know these bowls aren't that fancy. You got a couple stripes on them. No big deal. We'll just change them out. Go with the 10 ounce bowls, right? Then I could just do that. I'll fit right in." No, and Admiral still rules. <laughs> she said no. So she wants to keep these bowls instead of going with a, a slightly flush, a more shallow bowl. So we're going with the deeper bowl. So that's, that inherits plan B, which is, what do I do now? Um, <clears throat> so, I got two options, and I think I'm gonna proceed with, with both at the same time. So when I cut this out, and I plan on routing, uh, routing around it to give it a nice uh, rounded edge all the way around it. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I can get, Probably like three bowls, I think. Yeah, you can see that I can get three bowls just by hugging the top of this. Which means I'm gonna pull that all the way up to there, to that line. Or almost. Actually, it bottoms out. And I'll have to measure, but it comes up to. Yeah, I think it bottoms out on this line here. <clears throat> so I'd have to cut into this line right at the top it'd go right up there down here pretty much i mean it would have to do the whole pretty much a whole three inches of the whole bowl to fit it in there and then drop it down now once it's dropped down the little bit of t that would be there would, would definitely hold it in place from pulling out question is then okay so i pull one out right that works i pull out another hey look it's even getting easier oh look one bowl oh easy Oh crap, there's more bowls back there, and there's four of them. Because we have an eight set. <laughs> yes, we ordered an eight piece set. Uh, so, that doesn't work. So how do I get those bowls that I can stash back in that little cubby back there? How do I get them out with that in place? So, plan B was to figure out how to create a door out of this. Um, so that this becomes a door that opens 
uh, that I, or something that pulls out to get to the rest of them. So um, I was originally thinking about hinge and the type of hinge or thing, but I don't think that's. I might actually want to try something else. Um, I might want to create it where it's. You know what? I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking on the fly. <laughs> I'm thinking I could slide it in. Sorry, I'm put down because I'm here. So I create some sort of slot system, like the front of the companionway on the boat, where you get a, a board that slides in and slides out. I could make this a, set, a little board that slides in, so it would stay in, unless of course the boat went upside down and turned turtle, in which case, God, you know, the dishes would just fall all over the place. <laughs> Forget the fact that the boat's turtled. <laughs> but then I could pull it out. It would just pull out and out. And she could go and pull the bowls out. Or, if you wanted to, it's in most times. And you just take one bowl and we have three bowls at a time. Which may be enough, you know. But if it's not, then, you know, we pull that out. Dang it, will that clear? Dang it. Oh, yeah, because it's out front. So it's out front. So that would clear. So I got to make some sort of little pieces of wood on the side to put into that put that in so that would that would solve that problem and I wouldn't have to do a hinge or anything like that ah, I love it when one idea comes from something else on the boat <laughs> Let me treat it this time. Drinking. The boat's not rocking that hard. It's gonna look a little odd because it doesn't really line up with the others, but I think it'll still give it the same general look and theme to it in that, you know, the old tea holes. I call them tea holes. I don't know what else to call them. There's plate holes, dish holes, whatever tea holes. But that would give me the three inches of clearance to get the bowl in and out. Plus, it would also give me the guard to keep the bowls from coming out. So what I'll do is, I'll probably cut this piece out here. Now I've got to figure out how I'm going to slide it in. And, hmm. But I want to keep, I'm going to slot it one way or the other, so I'm going to figure that out here. <clears throat> All right. We'll be back after this quick brainstorming session. <laughs> Don't go nowhere. <laughs> okay, so back from the brainstorming session. Um, here's what the the face plate looks like. You got your plates here, plates here, leather plates, and then your cut and bowls here. So we're here. I'm here's where I'm cutting on this around here. So that'll all be cut out there, and I'll stop right about there. That'll give me room there. So this one's going up to the top, though, because I, the bowls are so big. This gives me three inches here. Cut that out here, down, around, up, down, over there. So I'll pull that piece out. So there I can get three bowls in and out without any problem with that still in there. Now, what I am planning on doing is I'm probably going to cut away from here up, and that way it'll cut that whole piece out. And because this piece will go here, shore up that side anyway. Um, so I won't put that piece on until I'm ready. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is take that, and I'll cut that piece out and pull it out and then I'll make some grooves and I'll put it on the paper here so this will have some grooves that'll go into each side so it'll slide in and out like a companionway hatch. God, a genius. <laughs> um, hmm. One thing I don't like is the fact that this has to be bigger and it's not, you know, these are all boom, boom, boom lined up. This is lined up with that one at the top. You can see these lines go all the way across and it's lined up. Now it's not because this one is different from the others, but I'm like, oh, should I? I got a decision to make here. I 
I mean, should I stick with the lines here, put that line back in, cut there, and keep it all center, but yet I can't pull the bolt out of here unless I move that out, which may get pretty old. <laughs> I'd rather be able to put three bowls in there, be able to take one out, one out, and if I have to get more out, then pull it out and go in and get the rest if I need to, whereas on a normal day basis, I might have two bowls in there, and that'll be easy to pop them in or out. What do you think? Yeah? No? No, you don't like that idea? Okay. Wait a minute. You're not talking back to me. I'm talking to myself, for God's sakes. I do that a lot, so it's good that I'm finally putting it on camera. I'm talking to myself. Yeah. I don't know how exciting this will be, but I'll record it just for friends and giggles. Um, usually I've been cutting with this clean, fast cutting. Not fast cutting, but mostly just a clean jigsaw blade for clean cuts. I'm going to switch to a scrolling blade. Uh, i got to be careful make sure it doesn't get away from me. But basically I'm going to do those curves and you want a thinner blade, that's going to do the curves better. A hole so I can get started. Oh, okay, so if I screw this up, there's I'm gonna rebuild it. That would suck. Oh, let's hope I don't screw this up. Well, there you go. <laughs> I headed in the wrong direction. Always make sure drill is going in the right direction. giving it a notch of push so that the blade is actually pushing forward just a bit. You know, three is doing it a lot. If I put it on three, it's just chucking away at it, so I don't want to do that. I'm going to try and start with one. Give me a little... Scrolling saw, it's a it's a tight turn. I'm thinking I might want to uh, instead of scrolling it, I might want to look and see if I've got a hole cutter that might do a better job in that curve. Gave me a good, really nice round corner on there. Like, oh, let me see. <laughs> see? Nice round corner. Um, it's not bad that they put these nice things in here to help get these out. But it is what it is. So, uh, cut one out. Let's see here, I've got a cut out here. Uh, so I'm going to do some routing on it too. I want to route it first, uh, and I'm going to use a piece of cut wood over here first. I want to get get my uh, routing depth right on here. <clears throat> See this pipe going to work. <laughs> me some nice round edges here. So I'm pretty happy with that. That'll be nice. I'll sand it down just a little bit. Uh, but uh, that looks pretty good actually. I'm pretty happy with that. Amazing what a router can do. It does some really nice job. So like I said, I gotta sand that down a little bit, but I think we're good. 
All right, I think I'll continue on with the rest of them. Hey, better? Okay, um, so I got this cut out. I got them rounded off, routed them. Um, put it back in place, so uh, that turned out real good, so I'm okay with that. Like I said, it works. I can get three in and out, but to get to the rest, going to be a little bit of a feat, so I'm going to do what I said and cut this away here and make that a drop-in that I can drop in and out. Um, so I'm going to work on that next and get that taken care of. So and that'll solve the old problem there. Cool! Hey! hey. Okay, so it's another wonderful day. Um, <laughs> I did something newbie that a TV person isn't supposed to do who's been working at it for 25 freaking years. And uh, I thought I was recording last night, and I really wasn't. You know, God knows that, you know, my TV buddies are going, yeah, I remember shooting a commercial, and uh, instead of turning it off, and I mean on, I turned it off, and I was, I was recording. I thought I was recording, and I got done and hit the button, turn it off, and it actually turned the recording on, and I went, oh, crap, I didn't record anything. And you had to make up some lame ass excuses and say, Well, I don't think that take was very good. Let's try that one more time. And this time I'll actually freaking record it. <laughs> Just don't tell them that part. All right, so uh, last night I was working on this and uh, kind of figured out this little issue with getting bowls out of here. I can do this, I can get three out. All right, okay. Got to get back in, but that kind of works. Okay, then I also came up with this idea pull it up out of the way. I can pull them all out, even the ones inside. <laughs> uh, just a bunch of little slots here. Really, I got the whole idea from uh, Companion Away Hatch. Does the same thing. Little slots here. I cut in with a biscuit maker. I cut the slots out, and I just with the chop saw I cut some very small pieces of wood. Right, I didn't want to use biscuits because biscuits kind of swell up. Um, whereas this kind of wood that I'm using, the poplar, poplar is a dense wood doesn't have many holes in it so it won't soak up moisture and expand and contract so i'm gonna obviously glue those in so that now i can simply do this <laughs> simply look how easy this is get it in there <laughs> Woo so now that's in there nice and tight those aren't gonna fall out so great no problems right wrong one major problem <laughs> i didn't realize how, how short this thing was and I don't think it's gonna keep all these eight plates in. I've served for eight. This one will work great. Hey, no problem. This one, not so much. I don't think so. I brought along with me the actual whole set, uh, which, look, does fit. Yeah, no big deal. That was no big surprise. And these are gonna be the problem, boys. Okay, so I can't get any of that line. Let's see how many I can get away with. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to fix that. Cut. So I cut the uh, piece out, put it in here, glue it in here, and uh, clamp it down good and hard, let it dry, and then I'm gonna fill in the gaps here with uh, epoxy, wood filler epoxy. And then let that dry, and then uh, go back and work on Cutting it back and routing it again. Make sure you get this one side of the it. So, and then hopefully that'll expand it. You'll still be able to get the plates in and out, so we'll check and make sure. Oh, yeah, okay. Alright, I'll let that glue dry, and like I said, then I'll fill in all along here with putty. And then uh, basically go back, wait till that gets hard, and route that back, cut that, cut that through, and route that, route it all. Be uh, good to go. Luckily, I'm not staining it, so none of that's gonna show up. I'm actually gonna prime and paint it, so you ain't gonna see the wood grain anyway. So that kind of covers my butt there. All right, so uh, glue's dried. Went ahead and mixed up uh, some of the wood epoxy. You can see I've kind of smothered it all around here. So I'm gonna let that dry. Once that gets nice and hard, uh, I'm then gonna just Cut straight on here, cut straight on there, do another straight cut around here and around here, and then I'll take the router around again and route around it 
so it'll look just like the others. And then I'll sand this down to get this nice and smooth so it matches kind of nice smooth surface. And, and hopefully, ha, after you paint it, you won't know that I have screwed this up at all. <laughs> That's the general idea. Okay, hey, it's a beautiful Saturday morning. Big day ahead. Uh, well, okay, just another day ahead. Actually, just keep them going. <laughs> Um, all right, so over here is where I had to patch this up and basically increase the size of this so that the plates would actually stay inside now. So I uh, got that uh, all done and it's, uh, it's working and it stays in there. So that ain't coming out. So that's good. We hope you enjoyed our video today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please share with your friends and click like and subscribe. Have a great day. Thanks for watching Sailing That Shore. Yeah, you got it. <laughs>